Hi, I'm Michael, Education Manager of the Audubon Center for Birds of Prey. Today, I'm talking about eggs. They're delicious, nutritious, and a great source of protein. However, in the wild, we really have to protect our eggs because that's where babies' birds come from. Now, birds will lay one clutch of eggs every year. However, there have been instances when birds will lay a second clutch. A clutch refers to the total number of eggs laid during one nesting attempt. When a second clutch is laid, it's usually because a nest has been um, infiltrated by another predator and the eggs have either been stolen or eaten. Clutches can vary from just one single egg to over 20, like the common bobwhite. Now, that's a lot of eggs and babies. Eggs can come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Robin's eggs can be very small and blue, but an ostrich's can be up to five pounds. The smallest eggs come from a hummingbird from Jamaica called Ravane Hummingbird. Now, its eggs are about one centimeter in length and are only 0.3 grams. That means a paperclip, like this one here, is almost five times as heavy as one of those little eggs. There's also wild variation as to how long a bird must incubate their eggs. Now, here at the center, we know that the burrowing owls will, lay on, will sit on their eggs for about three weeks, but a turkey vulture will have to sit on its eggs for 40 days. Talk about a pain in the tail feather. The shells are probably one of the coolest parts of the eggs. They're covered in calcium carbonate, but they also have maybe thousands or millions of pores to allow water and air to go back and forth through the shell. You can learn all about eggs here at the Audubon Center for Birds of Prey, just off of State Route 1792, north of Orlando. Hope to see you soon.